Hi, I'm Dave Nowicki, and I'm here in Prague, Czech Republic. I'm standing here in the Old Town Square, and you can see the astronomical clock in the background uh, on your left, and you can see the uh, St. Nicholas Square uh, behind me. We're here today to do another curated spot check, and we do this where we basically take our QA engineers, and they do an on-the-ground assessment of our curated virtual network, or CVN. Our technology actually uses automatic curation technology, which sources the network organically, and the network grows actually to be the largest in the world at 12 million hotspots. This network grows by itself. It grows through crowdsourcing technology, but we choose to take one extra step where we do local curation. The local curation helps us to learn about local characteristics of the network. For example, we were in, in Warsaw last week, and there we saw a large network in the center of the city. And we had to compare the quality of that network to all the local establishments in terms of their Wi-Fi. Here, we don't find the same kind of network in the center of the city. What we find is that things are far more fragmented, where each of the venue owners have actually put in their Wi-Fi, and there's no outdoor system to contend with. So that actually makes things quite interesting. We had a chance, actually, to talk to a lot of venue owners when we were here. And when we talked to the venue owners, we found that many of them are choosing a strategy of open Wi-Fi. This is Wi-Fi without passwords. And in fact, that Wi-Fi that they're using in their shops, they do it because they want to have people connected to the network in the easiest possible way. They actually don't want to have those people have to get a password. They don't want to have to manage the password. It actually lowers their costs. They told us this explicitly. So we're seeing that not only the big chains that are coming in, like the Burger Kings and McDonald's and Subways, but also local chains, like a chain called uh, Baguetterie Boulevard, which actually does uh, a lot of open Wi-Fi throughout the city. So we see a healthy amount of Wi-Fi in central Prague. We see uh, Wi-Fi pretty much in all the restaurants that we go to, even the boutique hotels, uh, the smattering of concert halls, cafes, bars, etc. So this has been another curated spot check. I'm Dave Nowicki from the Prague Czech Republic. See you next time.